the vehicle and those fluids going through. So we're going to see those disconnect just a few seconds before launch. Look out for that. Another thing to look out for is we'll see a, second, a seven second delay between ignition and liftoff. What's that about? Yes, yeah, starting the Vulcan engine first and then there is a check before we ignite the boosters. Attention pour moins une minute. Coming up to one minute to launch, all electrical systems being switched to flight mode. Top, H0 moins une minute. We're live at the Guyana Space Center for the launch of an Ariane 5 ECA. We're orbiting two passengers today, JCSAT-13 for Japan and VENUSAT-2 for Vietnam. Welcome, if you're just joining us, our very best wishes to our customers and to everybody who's worked so hard to bring us to today's launch. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top. Allumage du Vulcan. Allumage EAP, décollage. La propulsion est nominale, les paramètres bord sont nominaux. And there she goes, hauling herself against the gravity of the Earth. After the initial six-second vertical climb, we rotated to the east, and we're now heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. We're burning three engines, the Vulcan you saw there uh, in the images, plus two boosters, but it's the boosters that are doing all the work here. Their job's to get us away from the Earth, and we need an awful lot of firepower to push us against gravity. Antoine, they're your babies, aren't they, the boosters? You're a pyrotechnics expert, and you first spent many years working with them. That's true. And they are providing 90% of our thrust uh, right now. Each booster burns two tons of solid propellant per second. And to give you an idea, if you fill your car once a week, that's how much gas normal. you would use in a year. Quite incredible. And we can hear it uh, now. The sound has finally reached us. Beautiful images here at night. It's incredible to think those boosters are burning at uh, 3,000 degrees Celsius. Yes. And they're next to the main cryotechnic la stage. La est nominale, la trajectoire est normale, les paramètres bord sont normaux. Everything's normal. Um, we're looking here at the trajectory graph on the left-hand side of the screen. This is what everybody is watching now in this part of the flight. Tell us about it. The curve is uh, actually a computed simulation of uh, the trajectory, and uh, there is, you see a white dot on the curve. It's the actual position of, of the launch vehicle. You have to look at uh, two main parameters, the velocity or speed, it's uh, the V in kilometer, kilometers per second, and altitude, uh, or A, in kilometers. So those are the two things to keep your eye on throughout this flight. And we can now see those two boosters des à falling away. They have burnt their fuel. It's taken them uh, just over two minutes. We don't need them anymore, so they fall back to Earth. There they go. Those two dots you can see coming away, and that's the main engine you can see in the middle. We're losing weight, Antoine. Uh, yes, we just lost about three quarters of our, our initial weight in just over two minutes. Uh, so the lighter we are, the faster we go. It's a basic law of physics. Now, we saw the fairing earlier, the structure at the top of the launch vehicle. The fairings protecting the satellites from the rigors of the launch. What kind of rigors are we talking about? Mainly acoustic vibration at least off. It's very loud, but also friction since the launcher is flying through our dense atmosphere at very high speed. So it is... Separation de la coiffe. 
And uh, we're now getting separation of the fairing. We can see it falling away there. It comes away in two halves. And the reason we don't need it anymore is because we're now effectively in space. We're out of the atmosphere of the Earth. It's an incredible thing to think that it takes us only three minutes uh, to travel through the Earth's atmosphere. It makes you realize how little separates us from space, Antoine. Yes, the thick part of the atmosphere is about 100 kilometers deep.